My name is Jamin Gurker. I'm a realtor in South Central Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching you in real estate. And I primarily focus on South Central Alaska, and some of you are interested in what's going on in Kodiak. So answer that question, I went ahead and brought in a colleague of mine, Katrina Benton, who does work over in Kodiak. She's lived there for quite a while at this point. Her family has a lot of roots in that little island. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hand you off to her and let her give you the market update for what's going on in Kodiak. Hi, it's Katrina Benton with Keller Williams Realty. I'm here to give you an update on the market here in Kodiak, Alaska. I like to start out with land. So last month we had one parcel sold or MLS, and that's pretty consistent what we usually see for this time of year. We have 26 active listings in December, and that's also pretty normal for this time of year. Um, the majority of those land listings are out in the Cliff Point subdivision, which is a upscale subdivision at the end of the road that's being developed, and that is the only one with lots for sale right now. The average sold price is 216000 for land right now. And I think that that just reflects that more expensive and bigger lots, um, it's the most from oceanfront, just in a new, new development. And so that's quite a bit higher than net what you would pay for a lot in town. In town, I think you'd be more around seventy five to 100000 range, um, depending on the lot and what um, utilities it has to it, what the location is, and of course size. Pop over into residential statistics. In December, we had three closings in Kodiak. So we had three houses sell out of the 14 that were active during that time. Now, since then, most of those houses have gone pending or some of them expired at the end of the year. Like maybe their contract said, you know, I want to try and sell my house at the end of the year. If that doesn't work, I'm going to rent it out. I know that was the case for some of the houses that didn't sell. Um, I know that typically in December, we don't have a whole lot of home sales. So three sold is pretty on par with what we average do in Kodiak. Last year, we had a little bit of a spike, um, I think due to a variety of reasons, mostly the low interest rates where every month was basically higher um, sales prices and higher amount of sales. So we had 14 active during the whole month of December, and that's for the whole island. Let's take a break here real quick. For those of you who have been watching for a little bit, you do know that I host a podcast called the Alaskan Journey Podcast. And the purpose of that podcast is really tell the stories of people who have recently moved up here to Alaska or those who've lived up here for a long time. So if you're thinking about making a move up here, that might be a great place to start. So you can kind of start seeing what, what other people have done to accomplish what it is that you're wanting to do. So link for that is going to be in, in the description section down below. We've got tons of episodes on there. So jump in there, go treat yourself. And without further ado, I'll let you go ahead and get back into today's market update. The average sales price for 2022 turned out to be $332,454. And that is down 6.9% from last year. And so what that tells me is that when we had the lower interest rates and we had a lot more people who were moving to Kodiak and <laughs> everyone was trying to get their house while the interest rates were low. And so what that created was a little bit more of a upward um, movement in our average sales price. And now that things have settled down, interest rates have gone um, a little bit up. So that has definitely impacted this year's market. I think that if I look at what's going to happen in 2023, I think we'll see something pretty similar to what happened in 2022. My predictions for 2023 are going to be pretty similar to what happened in 2022. I think that the prices will stabilize here in Kodiak. I'm seeing a lot of buyers. I'm not seeing a lot of sellers like on my personal website. And so what that tells me is that there's more demand than there is supply. So today we have three active listings on the market. Two of those are like teardown houses. So really we have, I think one townhouse on the market and then there's no houses. Like if you called me and want to go look at houses today, it's not going to be very realistic. I think that when a nice house comes on the market here in Kodiak, like we're getting offers 
they're selling quickly if they're priced correctly. If you have a house to sell, now would be a fantastic time. Let's get it on the market. Um, feel free to contact me and get in touch with us if you have any further questions. But this is my December 2022 update, and I'm excited to see you guys next month. Thanks. Thanks.